guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Virtuous Prime ROM uh, for the Asus Transformer Prime. This is basically a stock ROM, uh, so there's not like a ton of features here to go over. Uh, this does overclock your Transformer Prime to 1600 megahertz on. Uh, the first boot here so it does have the overclock feature so you're going to see added performance it also has tons of mods and tweaks uh, to give you even better battery life i know eight hours is incredible on stock uh, but if you run the virtuous prime rom it should give you even better battery life i've not noticed anything that's been buggy at all on this rom everything has worked fantastically uh, i will say that this has pretty much no customization features uh, obviously this is not Cyanogen Mod 9 for the Virtuous Prime. Uh, there is a Cyanogen Mod 9 and there's also an Android Open King Project ROM for the Transformer Prime, but those are both very buggy for now because they are beta and alpha releases. Um, we do have nightly builds of Cyanogen Mod for the Virtuous Prime, uh, but at any rate, let's go ahead. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get started with our ROM review for the Virtuous Prime ROM uh, on the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, so like I said, there's not really a whole lot of customization here. Basically, it's just modified stock to give it uh, a little bit more performance. Um, the main thing about this ROM is the installation of the ROM. So we will go over that here in just a second. Uh, if we come in here, um, we go to About Tablet, you will see that we're on uh, 4.0.3. And uh, the build number here is the Virtuous Prime 9.4.2.15 version 2. And it has, uh, I guess it's running the stock kernel as well. Uh, but it is overclocked, like I said, to 1600 gigahertz. Um, so basically this is just going to give you some added performance. Oh, I think we do have some custom wallpapers here. Uh, yeah, so we got some custom wallpapers, and I think that's about it. Uh, all the ice cream sandwich wallpapers. I'm not sure. These may have came with the Transformer Prime. Like I said, there's basically no customization in this ROM. Uh, you're just getting added performance and added battery life with this ROM. Uh, customization will come on Signage and Mod and AOKP. But for now, this is what we have. So I'm going to show you guys how to install the Virtuous Prime ROM. It comes with an installation script that is uh, pretty unique. I haven't seen it on any of the phones that I've covered. And uh, it has a really cool user interface on the installation, which I'm going to show you guys. So what you want to do is make sure that you have an unlocked Transformer Prime, that you're rooted, and that you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Uh, then you're going to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery by holding the volume down and also the power button. So first volume down, then power until it boots up and now you're going to hold power up just click power up now you should boot into clockwork mod recovery and i'm just going to do a clean install for you guys so that you can see how to do it uh, so we will navigate with the volume buttons select with power so we'll go down to wipe data factory reset select power go down to yes delete all user data and select power it's going to take just a few minutes here to do that. See if we can get a closer view so you guys can see what's going on here. I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're going to wipe data for just a few minutes here. Okay, as soon as that's complete, uh, we're going to go to Wipe Cache Partition, select Power, go down to Yes, Wipe Cache, select Power. Maybe I can get it a little closer in for you guys. There, I think you can read it a little better now. Give this a few seconds. As soon as this is finished, we're going to scroll down to advanced. Select power. Go to wipe Dalvik cache. Select power. Go down to yes. 
wipe down the cache and select power. That's finished. Uh, so now we'll go back and install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. If you've downloaded this directly to your device, you can grab this ROM at uh, the link in the description. Select download and go to the Virtuous Prime ROM. So before you do that, uh, let's make sure that you have a backup. In fact, before you move forward at all, make sure you do have a backup. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so the way that you do a backup here is you will uh, you'll get a backup and restore. Select backup and that will back up the system. Okay, so when that's finished, it'll say backup complete. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to do this. If you're on the stock ROM, I would encourage that you do so you can easily get back to stock if you need to. Uh, then you can go to restore, and it'll give you a couple to choose from. My stock ROM, uh, I backed that up on 228, so you'll see that there's my first choice. And then the one that I just made is 320, uh, which is today. So those are both there that I can flash back to stock easily and quickly. Okay, so uh, once you've wiped data, cache, and dive it cache, you go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and go down to download. It should be on your SD card under download if you saved it directly to your Android device. Then you're looking for Virtuous Prime version 2.zip. Go ahead and click that and go down to yes, install Virtuous Prime. So it's going to do its thing and then... Uh, the really cool user interface is going to pop up, which is what it's doing now. Now, this is something that I wish that they would kind of do on all ROM installations because it kind of gives you choices uh, for when you're installing. So it says you're about to install Virtuous Prime S for the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, Virtuous S3 ROMs give you a mostly stock experience with basic enhancements, which is what we had discussed. So we'll press Next. And it gives you a full change log of, of what's been done here. Uh, in the latest version, they re-added GTalk, uh, fixed the custom settings, and did some other things it looks like. Uh, on the initial release, it shows you what they did there. DODEX, fully zip aligned, deep loaded, rooted, stock kernel, uh, optimized for fluid performance and usability. It includes the 1.6 GHz overclock, which is uh, what we discussed. It's like the main feature of this ROM. So we'll go to next. And you have several uh, things that you can do. I chose the minimalist. Uh, if you wanted to do complete, that would give you that overclocked kernel uh, plus everything as normal. So you'd have like a totally stock ROM. Uh, I chose minimalist because I wanted them to remove all the bloat. Uh, or you could go with typical and some of the bloat apps will be removed. The ones that they think are the very least useful. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, I could probably go with typical you know we'll, we'll try typical this time and then we'll go to the install now button and that's going to uh, give us an indication process indication bar with a percentage there at the bottom and uh, these developers they think of more and more things uh, with this ROM development this install script is probably one of the most innovative that I've seen in a long time and of course it would be on this powerful device the Asus Transformer Prime. And uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully they'll get into uh, these kind of installation scripts for other devices because I like to be able to pick and choose what I'm going to install. You know, some people like the bloat apps. Some people like having the Verizon apps on their phones uh, to track data usage and things like that. Some people like the need for speed games and, and all that extra junk. I personally don't. It seems to bog down my phone. But some people love that stuff. So it's cool to have choices. That's what rooting and hacking and installing custom ROMs is what it's all about, is having choices. So the more choices, the better, in my opinion. So this is almost finished. We'll just finish letting it install here. And then we'll boot back into it. Looks like it's going to take about a, one more minute, and there we are. So now we'll go to next, and we can reboot the device. It says that it's been installed successfully, so we'll go ahead and finish, and it's going to reboot the device. Now I'm not sure, I can't remember if this one had a boot animation or not, I think it's just standard. 
Maybe it did have a boot animation. I guess we'll see. So we got the regular E-pad boot logo. And do we have a boot animation? While this is booting up, guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. For your Android device, you can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E not a 3. Be sure to uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you have enjoyed this. So it looks like it did come with a boot animation. That's pretty cool. So that is Virtuous Prime for the Android Transformer Prime. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Big uh, thumbs up. Ha <laughs> ha. Give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.